Oshinoko's first episode. All I can say is, wow. I say this in the most serious and most meaningful way possible. This is my personal favorite first episode and just introduction in general to any piece of media ever. If you've seen my videos before or you just take a glance at my channel, you'll probably know that I make a lot of Love Live school idol videos and that's because I'm an idol fan. Big idol fan. I've always liked Love Live, um, Hanamaru, Aqua. Um, I've seen the girls live, I've bought all of these items, I have Hanamaru and Yo on my shaker cup right here. But after watching Oshinoko's first episode, uh, an idol anime that's made by the author of Love is War, I've genuinely gained a new lens on both the entertainment industry and my own personal career path, which I'll get into later in the video. Look, I was also wondering why so many people talked about this series in the way that they did, and all I saw was that this was going to be a sad series, and that's what I'm going to tell all of you too. It's a sad series, like straight up. I went into this episode blind aside from one detail, and that detail happens in the first 10 minutes of the episode, and yes, this is a 1 hour, 20 minute first episode. If you're in any way interested in school idols or the film, the music, or entertainment industry, I seriously recommend watching this first episode of Oshinoko. I've personally considered going into the film and entertainment industry because of my dreams of helping entertain and inspire people, but after watching this episode, it's genuinely made me question my own morals, my YouTube channel, um, my dreams as a whole. I'm gonna go a bit into some spoilers of this episode, so here's your warning. You've gotta watch this episode if you're at all interested in it and you don't know anything about this series. Um, alright, you guys ready? Let's go. Ai is our idol of the episode, and she embodies the character of a young star almost perfectly, and that's because she isn't perfect. She has her secrets, she has her flaws, despite how much of an idol she appears to be. The marketing and advertisement of this anime made me expect that this was going to be a slice-of-life, semi-romance type of idol show, um, with the unique dynamic of Ai being a mother to two kids while also living the life of a regular high school idol. I thought this was going to be a high school idol romance story centered around Ai. Holy shit, man. I did not expect that ending. I did not expect something like that to happen this soon, and I'm seriously glad that I never got this spoiled. And I think this aspect of the show perfectly just captures Ai's character arc and the purpose of this story. This show, it was marketed as a brand new idol show to bring fans like me in, and it worked. They did it. They, they got me. This whole episode was a big call out on the entertainment industry, an industry that I've personally wished to be a part of. I've been in Ai's position, I wouldn't mind lying if I can help someone or help myself benefit from it. I wouldn't have minded being that backstage crew member that obeys everything that the director says. I wouldn't mind obeying the big production companies that mass produce all of these idols, these artists, these content creators. And that's the beauty of this episode. Um, it made me realize that again, and it punched me in the heart seeing the consequences of that mindset. This episode made me feel something, it made me think about something, and it didn't need 13 episodes of seasonal bullshit or 8 arcs of crap to get me there. Shout out to MJF. Sure, you can expect the twist ending if you've seen a comment that spoiled how this episode ends, but not me though, not me. Because after that experience of going into this series expecting a typical Love Live idol show, I can confidently say that this was cinema. You'll hear that a lot online, you'll hear that from me sometimes, um, sometimes I'll say it jokingly, sometimes I'll just say it in the spurt of the moment, but this episode, genuinely, was cinema. And even if the rest of this series goes like off the chain and it becomes your typical isekai anime story, um, that 
won't ever matter to me because I'm never gonna forget this experience. This episode and this series has changed me and it's changed my viewpoints on a lot of things in my life and that isn't a lie. Hint hint. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and think a little bit more about this episode and you know my YouTube channel in general I guess. Um, but yeah that's that's all for me. I'll see you guys later. Peace.